What is up guys, RGT85 here, and today on the channel we're taking a look at the newly released NES games for the Nintendo Switch Online service. Now I am a few days late with this video, obviously with all the E3 coverage going on, I didn't want this video to sort of interrupt that, but I do want to cover these games because, well, this was something that I was hoping Nintendo was going to improve during their Nintendo Direct during E3 this year, and they, they didn't. Like, I don't know who's picking these games, I don't know how these games sort of get qualified to be on this service, but it's just getting worse and worse and like it's not a great thing now i want to see improvements in these games we have four games this month three new games and one game is a special edition and really there's only one game that's actually like really good all the rest of it just definitely feels like filler nintendo really needs to do something with this nintendo switch online service where are the super nintendo games i feel like i've been saying this over and over again there are definite improvements needed to this system but yeah we have some new nes games so let's take a look at them first off we have city connection which is a game that i really haven't played all that much i know there's like a car and it's like a 2d plane so i guess i guess we'll have fun playing that um we have double dragon 2 the revenge obviously the highlight of this month's uh selection of games i'll probably spend most of my time talking about this game we have a special edition of twin b because that that's what everyone wants in this special version of twin b you start on stage six where the second round of the game begins having cleared all five stages by starting here the amount and variety of enemies is increased raising the difficulty sky high if you're confident in your skill this this variation of Twin B will put you to the test. Just be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. So it's just gonna be hard as hell, like yay, and volleyball. Black box of volleyball. Like who asked for this? Who thought this was a good idea to put volleyball on here? I don't know. All right, so we're gonna start off with volleyball. I like to start off with the games that I'm least interested in. And look, volleyball isn't a terrible game. Like, it's okay. We'll play, just whatever. I don't care at this point. And you know, volleyball games have actually come a long way. You know, this isn't, uh, isn't dead or alive volleyball. Why are they humping the ball? I mean, they're, they're literally humping the ball. Like, there's no, other, there's no other rhyme or reason for that. There is really no other explanation. I really don't even know how to play this game very well. And we're just going to lose probably to Ton. I don't, I don't know what country. What is, what is Ton? What country is Ton? I have no idea. But, yeah, so this is volleyball. You can see, like I said, you know, we've come a long way with Dead or Alive Volleyball. You know, these, these chicks, you know, they, they have... Um, nice uh, body features in this game i mean that's a good thing but they're all the same they're all brown haired and you know just different color shirts i am terrible at this game all right maybe we'll get a little something going here yeah no so this is volleyball you basically try to spike the ball you try to score points you try to beat ton for world domination and obviously we're not beating ton ton is going to be taking over the world and yeah you, you hump the volleyball a little bit too all right Maybe, all right. Oh, they're gonna spike it on me. You get out of here. Yeah, whatever, we're done with this game. All right, let's move on to City Connection. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with this game. I do know that there's like a car that you drive and you go from like left to right and stuff. What am I doing here? Is that a good cat or a bad cat? I killed the cat. I ran over the cat. And that's it, game over. I'm not going that way. Let's get pick up this. So I guess we gotta avoid the cat. We're driving around in New York City. Uh, there's the cops, let's avoid the cops. You can jump. There's, oh, the cat disappeared. Why is the cat following me? It's like he wants to get ran over. Oh, you can shoot stuff, that's neat. What? I mean, I probably should learn, like, what the point of this game is, but I just feel like I don't care enough. You know, City Connection isn't a game that, you know, a lot of people talk, Jesus, that a lot of people talk about or whatever. Let's pick up some oil, I guess, here. I actually just had some really fun times with oil. Like, my car was literally gushing oil, and I thought I was going to have to put it down, but we saved it. It was an oil, it was an oil um, seal around the uh, the oil bay of the car. So we shot the cop car. You can't do anything, with, did you jump over the cat? No, you just run over the cat. I feel bad, like this game is murderous. And now that's game over. So that's a look at City Connection, an obviously top-notch game that definitely deserved a spot on the Nintendo Switch's online service. So many people were talking about City Connection. It was a game that we really needed. Let's check out Twin B, where I'm probably just going to freak out and have a meltdown because 
I don't know. I'm not. I'm not very good at this game to begin with. It is Twin B is is a fun game. Like, don't get me wrong, but I don't need a special edition of this game. You just dropped this game last month. Like, uh, that's that's great. You know, it's it's the harder part of the game. Cool, but you know, give me something unique. Like, what happened to like things where there's like ROM hacks and you know sprite hacks and stuff like that? Like, that's actually somewhat interesting. I'm, I'm doing horrible. That's actually somewhat interesting. You know, that actually gives people a reason. Jesus Lord. That actually gives someone a reason to want to check out these games. Not just, you know, essentially a game genie code or a level skip code for a game where it's the same game. There's nothing different about it. There's nothing special about this. The only thing special is you start later in the game. That's not special. That's a code. That's a game genie code. It's it's ridiculous. Nintendo just really needs to do something with their with their Switch online service. They need to improve it. There's just there's no reason for it to still be this bad and there haven't been any real updates to the stuff. You know, they haven't improved anything yet. We got Tetris 99 which was great, but I need more and I think a lot of other people need more. But I am I am someone enjoying this special edition of Twin B where it just starts later in the game. Shmups are fun, though. I mean, what what can you say? Yay. All right. That's enough of that. Let's get to the crown jewel, Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Now, this game is great. This game is awesome. If you play the original Double Dragon to death, this game does control very differently. You have a forward punch and a back kick, and they are mapped to the buttons. So it plays very differently, and obviously you're gonna have to have press both buttons to jump and then a subsequent button in order to do your jump kick, of course. But this game does offer two-player support where you can either hurt your player as you're playing together or you don't hurt your player as you're playing together. And since you can play NES games online on the Nintendo Switch, like that's a cool thing in my opinion. That's what makes this game really stand out because it's an awesome beat-em-up for the NES. Look at these wills. They just got done doing gymnastics and they're like, all right, we're gonna come out to the mean streets and we're gonna do gymnastics. We're gonna do cartwheels. And yes, that's what these characters are called, Will. If you look in the instruction book. But you can see here, so you have the punch and then you have the kick. And then in order to jump, you hit both at the same time and then you just press your front button again in order to do your jump kick. I absolutely love this game. I've beaten this game several times through. Um, it's especially fun with a friend. Just a really, really solid beat em up. And you know, the original Double Dragon was a game that I have a lot of fond memories of and not so much the arcade version, just the NES console version because that's what I grew up playing. Like I didn't even, when you're a kid, you know, unless you went to arcades a lot, you didn't know about certain arcade games. Look at the Lindas. Look at the Lindas. That's what these characters are called, Lindas. At least that's what they're called in the first Double Dragon. I'm going to assume that they didn't change their name. Oh, oh, she caught the knees to the face. Oh, Will doing his gymnastics. Like, why would you do that? Could you imagine, like, getting into a fight with someone and, like, they just start doing, like, gymnastics, like cartwheels to try to, like, throw you off your game? Like, <laughs> that's so ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. But, I mean, that's Double Dragon. Give me that chain. She ain't no ball and chain. She ain't no ball and chain. You gotta save the best game for last. Cause this is where I'm gonna have the most fun. I like that song. Sometimes the sun becomes the moon. Sometimes it rains in the month of June. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Save the best for last. I think that's how the song goes, right? It's close enough, I mean. Going up top to the building. And then we're gonna fight the fat guy who's kind of like the first sub boss and then we'll probably wrap up this video but yes this game absolutely kicks ass the music is great the visuals are great there's not nearly as much sprite flicker as there was in the original double dragon for the nes which had a ton of sprite flicker sometimes it even you know made it a bit unplayable at times but yeah, you don't you don't get it with this version of the game. So good. Will just loves doing his cartwheels. There's three lead pipes out here because, you know, why fight fair? Here's the first little sub boss. Um, he's not very hard. You just kind of mess him up a few times and then he'll like disappear and then he'll reappear. I, I never really understood the point of this. Like, okay, he's gone. Look, we beat him. Or did we? Surprise, surprise, bitches. So yeah, I don't know. And he's like I said, he's not very hard. He just whip his ass and then he goes away and then you beat him. 
But yeah, so this is Double Dragon 2. It's a lot of fun with a friend, and the fact that you can play this game online is definitely a big win in my opinion, but still, you know, you want to see better game variety. You want to see more games, and you know, the fact that this is the best game and really the others are just sort of throwaway games, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing in my opinion. Nintendo really needs to do something with their Switch's online service. They need to improve it. Add better games. Like, the NES has such a great library. I know you don't want to put all the games on at once, but nobody's sitting there asking for volleyball or city connection. And if you are, you're a sick person. No, I'm just kidding. You just have different tastes than me. But yeah, this is a look at the NES games for the month. I could sit here and play Double Dragon until I get game over, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoy city connection, if you enjoy Black Label Volleyball, or if you enjoy Double Dragon the most. And hopefully most of you guys will say Double Dragon because Double Dragon kicks ass. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Welcome to all the new subscribers from the E3 coverage. I just died, and now I'm kind of mad. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel. I got some other stuff coming up early this week. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.